Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment Expose. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's a small click but with a big impact. Today I chose a video from Georgia Transparency. In this video, Russell terrorized a young woman. All right, let's do this. Russell Picron is a Among Us, unwashed ape, and one creepy fraudator. <laughs> <laughs> he pops into offices with his dirty hair, flip-flops, and rubbish bio. <laughs> also, he has a very difficult relationship with women in general. He enjoys creeping them out and using them as a victim of his grift. And since he's naturally really creepy and disgusting, it's easy for him to get a reaction from a woman who assumes that she's about to get kidnapped or worse. Russell is the main reason a woman would rather see a bear in the forest than a man. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Enjoy. GT went hot in Barrow County, Georgia at the courthouse. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe to include, smash that notification bell right quick, fast, and in a hurry. For the most part, public officials allow me to document and photograph the public areas. Employee Riley made contact with me and would not provide her name, as I like to know which public official I am interacting with. So I spoke with her supervisor, put in an open records request, and hook them up with an education. Let's check out the Barrow County Courthouse. Turn on the news, dude. Someone's going berserk at the courthouse. Oh, hello. He just sprung up out of nowhere. How's your day going? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm super, thanks for asking. Do you need help with anything? Oh, no, ma'am. Just taking some pictures and video and stuff. For what? Oh, just like press. Okay. Yeah. You're not a journalist, you muffin top. That's not what news is. Everything you do goes against the rule of journalism. I'm closer to actually being Taylor Swift than you are to being a journalist. So stop lying. You lie! You lie! They must be closed for lunch. Yeah, probably not there. I'm just confused on what's going on. I'm sorry? I'm just confused on what's going on. Oh, just taking some pictures and video and stuff of the the historic courthouse and everything. Okay. Yeah, that's all. You know, just... Look at her. She is terrorized. She's about to cry. Jesus fucking Christ. Just taking video just and pictures and stuff like in here. Okay and stuff. Oh, my name's Russ. Your name? Born! No, my name's Russ. Your name? Okay. Oh, your name, ma'am? No? I have to say, I never saw a woman so disgusted by someone, uh, Russ. It must hurt to know the impact you have on a woman sometime, right? Oh, that's not very professional, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you even know about being professional about anything, you smelly kitchen rag? Oh, do you have a business card, ma'am? No, sir. You don't have one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would I be able to do an open records request, please? Okay. Um, you'll have to phone one out on the website. Oh, what if I don't have access to the internet? I believe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, according to the Georgia Open Records Act, I can submit that orally or in writing. Um, and I don't think Barrow County, I don't think y'all would violate the Georgia Open Records Act. He's trying to submit an open records request. Who? He doesn't have access to him. Okay, well, we can do it for him. Um, so just go to our website. <clears throat> oh, my name's Russ. Your name? I'm Kat. Kat? Oh, thank you. And what's her name? Uh, Riley. Riley, thank you so much. And then the request. Oh, um, what's the position up here? This position here? Administrative assistant. Yeah, um, Riley's full name, duty position, and annual salary. Okay. And then copy of the most recent pay stub. 
for the same person. Do you know Do you know her last name? It'd be easier just to just put yeah, it on there. Okay. Okay. And that's all. Oh, so I would put in a complaint with the clerk. Yeah. About Miss Riley's behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would send an email. Uh, I can give okay. you the. Uh, let me get you uh, email address. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> what the fuck? And he stays there, right in her face, filming her like a gigantic creep that he is. Ugh. Was there a problem? Oh yes, ma'am. Um, you're the face of Barrow County when people walk in and everything, and then I just politely asked you for your name, and then you just refused. Mm, Russell doesn't like it when a woman says no to him. We don't listen to words like, like no, or, or don't, or stop. <laughs> you know, you being a receiver of taxpayer money on, the, on, the, on my dime, on the people's dime, and so you should at least tell me your first name. Like, I was being professional and polite, and I felt that you wasn't. You just said no. Like, you don't get to do that. When you take taxpayer funds, you don't get to do that. Of course, she can refuse to give her name. She's not a cop at the traffic stop. She's a secretary. I mean, and Russell, let me explain why she refuses to give her name. See, that girl, she just wants to show up at her job, when you know, with her Stanley Cup, do her job and get back home safe and sound. But today was different. Today she saw a big fat unhealthy man popping around her desk and filming her. A man who refuses to give a straight answer when she asks what are you doing and then he keep wandering around her asking for her card, asking for her name. Do you realize how intimidating it is for her? She doesn't want to be on your phone, rusty baby. She doesn't want you to know anything about her. She's scared of you. This is traumatic. You're the most disgusting out of shape piece of shit I've ever met in my life. And to top it all, you ask for all her information and threaten her with a complaint. Are you serious? Ugh. And, um, and it'll, I have a huge, huge channel. So it's Georgia Transparency. It's not, it probably be seen by tens, thousands, maybe millions of people. Again, you try to intimidate her. Look at her face. She thinks she will become viral like the Hawk Tour girl or something. Russell, your channel is not a big channel. I mean, it's okay, but 35k subs in two years and, and views between 5 to 10,000 per video. It's nice, but on the scale of social media, it's fucking nothing. You're a fraction of a guy like Long Island Audit, who has an actual huge channel, and no one knows him outside of the auditing niche so who the fuck you think you are so it's like it's like you ma'am i said my name's rush your name you said it was cat you were very professional polite i said the same thing to miss uh riley here and she just smiled and shook her head no like no you don't get to do that yes she can no we you understand like we pay your salary the people pay your salary i'm just merely existing in here with a camera uh, uh, i'm just merely existing with my camera. Shut the F up, you giant disease. You're there to steer some shit up for YouTube content and nothing else. You were fishing for a reaction, and we know why. The fact is that a channel like this gets views on videos where government acts inappropriately. And it doesn't get views on videos where the government acts appropriately. That's right. She was polite and friendly, and her reaction was normal for a young woman, you fat jug of Mountain Dew. So it'll be seen by, you know, tens of thousands of people. So both, and everybody else was really polite, though. It was real polite. Well, I do and, apologize and, for um, that happening. Um, if you need anything, give, uh, that's uh, yeah. a real, is how you say her name. Um, but you can send her an email. Um, okay. And, uh, and yeah, I don't want like nothing to happen or anything, but just, you know, have a, you know, have a conversation, you know, behind closed doors in public and, you know, someone asks you your name, you're, you work for the people, you work for the public, then you should be able to provide that um, with, without any questions. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I'm a veteran as well. I did a whole career in the military. And then I'm all about respect. And Shut the fuck up. Right in, Shut like, the fuck up. We're talking nonsense. It was like so pretentious. Yeah. Being polite well, and I'm professional. And it's no, it's fine. It's done. I've done. For, forgive, forget, flush, let it go. It's all. 
it's all, you know, water under the bridge. I just want you to know that, you know, anybody, you know, it, if somebody from mainstream media with a suit and tie comes up in here with a camera, how are you going to act? Check this jackass trying to use the veteran card. You don't deserve to play that card, Rusty Baby. And yes, obviously, she would be less creeped out by a media industry professional in a suit and tie. But that's not her. That's everyone. Okay, I'm a dude and you creep me out. Okay, it's not just her. Also, a media professional would never just show up in a non-public forum with a camera. They would make an appointment or stay in front of the building. You, you're just a homeless looking domestic abuser, alleged walking around in flip-flops with a phone in the air. But I know you're too stupid to get the difference. That's right. And uh, just smile. Like, put a big smile on and everything. That's, you know, that's, that's all. That's all I ask. I don't ask too much just to be left alone and doing what I'm doing and you know when if you had never said a word to me never engaged with me or nothing I wouldn't have even asked you your name I wouldn't have told you mine I would have checked out what I need to check out then I would have been out of here when were the lies end I mean and, and you don't have to by all means it's your choice it's perfectly your choice it's your you know it's your right to do it it's your freedom to to be that, you know, to, to act that way if you want to, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's like whatever you want to do, but just keep in mind that, you know, there's, there's people coming in and, you know, and everything. Oh, hey, hey there, how are you? Hi, doing? So I'm a girl. I'm, yeah, this I'm is sorry. Kind of, this is Riley. Super oh, Christian. my name is Russ. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh yeah. No, no, I, I, no, no. Everything's fine. No, no. She, I was going to put a complaint in on her about, you know, what happened, but I, but I think we kind of fixed it. So I don't need to, yeah, I okay. think we just kind of addressed it and, you know, she apologized. She apologized that you were offended by her actions, not that she thought you were a maniac who would kidnap her after her shift or something. And, you know, and then it's, it's all right to engage with the people, engage with them, you know, do it. But, you know, and then, you know, because she had engaged with me, asked me what I was doing. I'm filming, of course. I got a big camera. I'm filming. I'm, you know, I have a huge channel and I, put, I showcase that stuff on there. Looking at government corruption, police brutality, stuff like that. And I don't think any of that's going on here. I'm just being honest with you. You know, then Miss, Miss, Miss Riley, she engaged with me. I said, my name's Russ. Same thing I did with Miss K. You know, my name's Russ, your name. And just, like, you lost your mind? Like, no, it doesn't work that way. This is the worst. <laughs> Cheer up, smile a little bit. It's all good. It really is. It's all good. Just yeah, you know, just just next time, also, you know, don't 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 do nothing. Like she's don't don't like do anything. I think anything, just yeah. so people are apprehensive at the same time that there's a camera in their face. Yeah, so, you know, I'm maybe sorry, just, I'm just not. I think that's just. Oh know, yeah, no, that's but, and that's perfectly fine. But then you know, there's. Did you know? There's cameras everywhere. There's cameras on traffic lights. Yeah, of course. There's cameras on street poles. There's cameras all in courthouses. Every There's ring doorbells now. Uh, my ring doorbell doesn't go film people at work, you greasy slice of bacon fat. And the camera at the street light doesn't broadcast on YouTube for money. She's aware that there's camera everywhere, but she doesn't want to be on your camera, Russ. Your camera. She thinks you're revolting and hates your gut. Just be, just, just be a little bit more receptive, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm on, sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, my name's Russ. Russell. Russell. Okay, Russ. Well, yes, ma'am. Thank you for you know explaining yourself, but also at the same time, I, think, I kind of see it in Riley's point of view, where it's just, you know, the last thing we're expecting at the moment is having someone walk up with a camera. Like, I know we're always oh, being recorded, you know, that's but fine. also, you yeah. know, take that into consideration as well. So, you know. But we will work on that moving forward. So. Yeah, and, 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 and you know that's perfectly fine. That's the reason why I'm not throwing a fit, getting, you know, you know. Uh, you are throwing a fit. You spend a total of 20 minutes repeating the same bullshit over and over. Uh, I pay your salary, uh, so you have to be nice to me and smile to me because I'm a vet and a journalist and not a lonely loser. Uh, who eats frozen chicken nuggets and eat and drink Pepsi for breakfast. Uh, and Please, those two women, stop apologizing. The guy is a grifter and a criminal. You don't have to ban for him and his YouTube content. Be really careful of that. Be real cautious of that because that can land Barrow County in lawsuits. When you start acting a certain way with your duties because there's a camera involved, there's superior, or not superior, there's Supreme Court case law that backs all of that stuff up. Uh, 
Are you crazy? Alrighty, so uh, we uh, definitely uh, hooked them up with an education. What? <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Are you insane? They were praying the old time for you to go away. And uh, they were receptive to it. <laughs> and you know, that's the biggest thing is, is they were receptive, which is, which is awesome. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? And that's how it ends with a wobble of shame from the most delusional predator ever. I guarantee you that the moment Russell left they had one giant laugh, a moment of release, saying things like, what the F was that? Who was that slimy diabetes supporter? At no point did they take you seriously. Not once, not a second. They smile and nod for 20 minutes, hoping you will get the F out of there. The only thing you accomplish is traumatize a young woman who will have some nightmares for a while. That's what happened. You are so disappointing on so many levels. All right, enough with this clown, my dear rusty baby. Like they say in the Philippines, putang in a more. Shout out to the members. You're the reason why birds sing in the morning. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye.